today we're going to make a traditional Lancashire hot pot with organic lamb leg. We're also going to make a Vimto jelly which is a Manchester dish what with the Vimto factory being based in Manchester originally it's a little twist on the traditional sherry trifle. We're going to use one kilo of lamb leg sliced thickly, we're going to use three white onions fine dice, we're going to use five carrots diced fine and we're going to use a parsnip, we're going to use black pepper, bay leaf, thyme and garlic and we're going to use a lamb stock. What's so good about traditional meals and why do you enjoy them so much? I like traditional meals, I like really British cuisine I like with a modern twist. I always sort of try and make it all look a bit more modern, a bit more trendy. Um, but I like the flavours and everything going back to traditional British food is all quite healthy. A lot of things are farmed in people's gardens, back in the day in the war and things like that. I get a lot of inspiration from that, how people used to cook, unlike nowadays where everybody's quite influenced by ready meals. and. Like I say, that brings me back to being processed. That's why I try and use organic meat and organic veg, just because that is how I was brought up, eating that kind of thing. What I'm doing now is I've just sweated off some onions. Uh, the white onions have been sweated off into about 50 grams of butter, along with some garlic, it's, let's say a tea teaspoon of garlic puree, and some fresh thyme. Just again, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves. So we're going to sweat the onions off, then in a separate pan, I'm going to sweat down the carrots, the parsnips, again with a little bit of garlic and thyme. Just going to lightly brown them all, again with the same as the onions, and then we'll fry our meat off. Do you think that with the amount of ready meals and frozen food around us these days, people forgot the joys of cooking? Absolutely. And people now with a busy lifetime, uh, busy lifestyle, with the jobs and things like that, family commitments, gym, people just don't get enough time to get home and start cooking. And I don't think there's enough families all together as a family unit where they're learning to cook together, basically, with the kids or with a partner. I think it's just easier to pop in the shop on your way home, waitrose, boobs, whatever, and just buy something quick. And then again, I think the whole social scene of families has deteriorated because nobody's sitting around the table having a meal that's been freshly cooked, chatting about the days, and I think that has a really big influence now on today's society. So we're just browning these vegetables, the parsley and the carrot and the sweet, and we've got the uh, onions that are just getting a bit of caramelisation on them now. We don't want them burnt, we just want them lightly browning and that'll give a really nice flavour to the stock when we add that and the lamb. Just when will you be adding the lamb to the uh... Once these vegetables have all caramelised and got a little bit of colour, we'll then get the uh, lamb steaks in the pan with a little bit of butter. We'll brown them off on each side. We'll then add a little dusting of flour, which will just enable a little bit of thickness to the sauce once it goes in the oven, so it's not watery. Uh, while the vegetables are caramelising, why did you want to become a chef? I wanted to be a chef from being sort of 11 years old. I was always intrigued into watching people on the telly back in the day. It was people like Keith Floyd, who was my sort of main inspiration. Um, my mum had some really nice cookbooks by, uh, there was a lady called Margarita Pattern. She's no longer with us, but she was quite influential. Cause it was just one of those things that I took a, a shine into straight away, looking at the recipes, looking at the cakes, and just different things really and I had a next door neighbour, Mrs Steele, she was a really big influence to me, she was like an auntie really and uh, she used to do the best leek and potato soup and I used to go around and she, her house always smelled of food, she was my direct neighbour and I just used to watch her and she used to just do some amazing food, completely inexperienced but what food she did was always the tastiest and yeah, she was a little bit of an inspiration for me really because she was a real foodie. She worked in a green grocer, she you know, she worked hard all her life and I often think about her most weeks at some stage in the week if Mrs. Steele would have liked it. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip the uh, vegetables and the onions into the casserole pan. So in there with the vegetables 
balls in there with the thyme and garlic and onion mixture. So we'll just move all that about and bind it all together. Keep the pan on the heat so it gets really hot that the vegetables have come out of. Then we're going to put a couple of teaspoons of fresh butter in. So one, two, so we've got the butter in the pan. We're just going to brown the butter not too far as a burn noisette, which is just the term for burnt butter really. We don't want it that far. We're just going to let it go golden. And then we're going to add our lamb leg steaks. 